All right. Now we're doing free code camp, JavaScript algorithms, data structures, beta. Learn basic string and array, pardon me, string and array methods by building a music player. Step nine. All right. So since users will be able to shuffle and delete songs from the playlist, we're going to need to create a copy of the all songs array without mutating the original. So this a copy of this thing. Um, pardon me. Uh, this is where the spread operator comes in handy. All right. So the spread operator, and I'm going to call it spread syntax whenever I'm not reading it, uh, because that's what MDM calls it. And anyway, so the spread operator or spread syntax allows us to copy all elements from one array into another. It can be, uh, it can also be used to concatenate multiple arrays into one. In the example below, both R1 and R2 have been spread into combined R, right? So we've got uh, R1 like this and R2 like this, right? And so when we do combined R equals spread syntax R1 and then comma spread syntax R2, when we do a console.log combine R, it should look like this, right? And note that this comma right here is this comma right here, while the other two comma, the other four commas are these commas right there, right? Technically, not really technically, but we, you get what I'm saying. Anyway, so let's actually go check out spread syntax because there's a lot more to it than that, right? So the spread syntax allows an iterable such as an array or string to be expanded in places where zero or more arguments for function calls or elements for array literals are expected, right? And this is, we're just going over this so that when we go when this later in the course, you'll, you'll say, oh, okay, okay, I remember going over this, right? We, we don't need to learn it perfect now, right? So we've got, so uh, the thing we're doing right now is an array literal, but it can also be used for function calls. So we've got this uh, simple function, sum x, y, z right here as the arguments, or the, pardon me, as the parameters. And then we're gonna return, uh, x, y, x plus y plus z, right? So real simple. Uh, and we've also got this array numbers that has one, two, three in it. So if we do a console.log function call sum with uh, spread syntax numbers, it's going to plug this one right here to the x, the two right here to the y, and the three right here to the z, and then it's going to add up together, and we're going to get six, all right? And so, yeah, what, I don't know what this is. No, I don't know why... We have that in there, but some dot apply. Why is this even here? We don't need that. Run it. All right. So we got that. Uh, so that being said, another th way to use it, and this is the main way that I use it, is uh, to split up strings, right? So let's say let string equal a string with, you know, a bunch of characters in it, right? And uh, we've got array. Let's say let array equal this right here and then let's say dot 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 string in front of it like that so it's going to put this uh this string in here and if we run it come on huh oh wait wait, wait, wait. we didn't do anything hold on if we do console.log array whoa, whoa. come on up. array like that and run it you can see you can see that every single character is its is in its own element. And this is really useful for if we just want to capitalize the L or something, something, something. There's all kinds of uses for this. Uh, we can use for loops on it, map methods, all kinds of stuff, right? So let's come back over here. Uh, so inside the user data object, we can create, we're going to create a songs property. And for the value of that property, we're going to spread all songs into an array, right? So right here, we'll do the songs property. We'll say songs, and then we'll do the uh, colon, and we'll say, what are we doing, an array? So we'll make an array with dot, 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 all songs, right? So it's that, uh, this array right here. And so when we come down here and we do a console.log, console.log user data dot songs, right? And we open up the console. Come on, did I do, did I do it right? User data dot songs. User data dot songs. Console dot log. Come on, what did I not do? All song is definitely not defined. There it is, right there. Woo! There it is. Awesome. Uh, so let's get rid of this. Yeah, we didn't have to check it. We we did our little debugging for us, right, or something like that. Anyway, check the code. Looks good, and submit it. All right. 
Now we're on to step 10. And we'll see you next time.